Hi everyone. In this video, I will show you how to use the df summary function from the summary tools package to summarize and visualize your variables. This is a very useful step in data analyses because it helps you to understand your data and also to identify any strangeness in your data, like if you have a lot of missing values or you have negative 99 instead of NA or missing in some of the columns. So first, we will load the Haven, uh, Tidyverse, and Summary Tools packages. I'm going to insert a new chunk to load my packages. And then I will load the Tidyverse. Next, we will import the Harry Potter data set. I'll insert a new chunk to do that. And this data set has questions assessing the five-factor model or big five personality traits, and also questions from Pottermore designed to help sort people into their Hogwarts houses. And when we look at this data set by clicking on the environment window and selecting its name, we see there is questions about flipping a coin, uh, questions about the five-factor model, and if we keep scrolling, we see that there are questions about Harry Potter. So we've got Pottermore questions here. Now we're going to use the DF summary function to summarize and visualize three questions from this data set. The coin flip, FFM5, and Potter3. So first we will um, Create a new data, uh, new data frame with just the questions we're interested in, and we'll use the tidyverse, the select command from the tidyverse to do that. So we'll start with dataset, and we'll pipe dataset to the select command. And what that does it, is it just sends dataset to the command select, and then select will do something to dataset. In this case, select's going to select uh, coin flip. FFM5 and Potter3. And then we'll save this new data, data set, this uh, data frame that only has three variables, into a variable called example data frame. Next, we'll call the DF summary function uh, from the summary tools package. And we'll we're going to call it with a very specific set of arguments that I will show you. So we're going to use df summary to summarize and visualize the data. We're going to use the print function. We're going to print the output of or the value of DF summary. We're going to send DF summary the example DF data frame. So it's going to create a summary of example DF. And we're going to give it a few more um, pieces of information. We're going to tell it to uh, magnify the graphs uh, by a function of 0.75. And we're going to ask the print command to print using the method called render. And when you press play, it doesn't look good. Oh, sorry, that didn't even let me make sure I spell this right. D F S U M A R. Okay, let's see here. Press play. Now when you press play, it doesn't look good, but that is how it's supposed to look. When you press preview, we'll create a beautiful table summarizing the data in the data frame. This lets you see the mean the minimum value, the median value, the maximum value, the interquartile range, 
It also tells you the frequency of each response in the data set for that variable. It shows you a graph of the data, and it also tells you how many responses were valid and how many were missing. And if you see any strangeness at this point in your data, you can take steps to fix it. If everything looks okay, you can go ahead and start creating your composite variables.